Don't you worry, pal. I'll take good care of you, I promise. Good afternoon, my car people. Dude, welcome back. Welcome back to the shop, Speed Trends Racing. And behind me, if you guys watched the last episode, I just got this thing back today, literally like three hours ago. Just dropped off my mom. She helped me go and pick up this 1999 Chevy Express van for 500 bucks. Just watched the last video, it was pretty cool. We went only just a couple towns over, picked this thing up. Dude, guy was selling it for a thousand dollars and then he basically just gave it to me for 500 and clean title and everything but man i am ready dude there's nothing better than getting something new and then it's unknown i get to go and like play with it and then clean it up and everything so let's dude let's just, just go right into it we're gonna go and clean this baby up i'm gonna pressure wash it and then wash it with some soap and then you know just do everything i can to get all the mildew and all the grossness off because this thing has been sitting for about a year or so and uh yeah like I plan on staying here as long as I can, probably till at least 10, that's the goal. And right now it's about six o'clock, so four hours from now, what can we get into? We're gonna get into a whole lot, let's go. First thing on our list we're gonna do is we're gonna pressure wash this baby. It's gonna look a hundred times better with a good old pressure wash. <laughs> Imagine. 30 minutes of work and it's literally 100 times better. I mean, it definitely needs to still be washed. Kind of hard to see because it's like 7.30 at night. It's about to go, uh, it's about to get dark here soon. But man, oh, dude, I still cannot believe that this thing is 500 bucks, dude. God, it just blessed me. So since I'm just washing this van anyways, uh, I didn't even think that I could be talking to you guys. <laughs> so here uh, are my thoughts on this van and my plans. So get this thing all cleaned up, then get in it run, running good because I want to use it as my tow vehicle for now to be able to get me to Colorado to go to PFI Speed Fest, right? And that's the goal, to go there and then take the hatch there and then rip it down the drag strip and run at 1299 at altitude. So for me to do that, I gotta get this thing run in tip top shape to make it all the way from here in Nashville, Tennessee, all the way to Pueblo, Colorado, which is 1200 miles, no, 1300 miles away. So that's a long way. And uh, there's a lot of details that go on into that, but. So you're probably wondering, well, Dylan, why don't you just take your C30, fix that and drive it 1300 miles. So I would totally be down for that. That'd be like the most epic thing, especially because I've only ever put like maybe 25 miles on it last 10 years but I mean it needs okay right off the rip radiator full exhaust system wiring needs to be checked all the brakes need to be done like even the hard lines because dude this is from 72 so it's 52 years old uh, the tires are like seven years old and I never really bought them for like going long distances just to buy just to get a set of tires on my truck just to be able to put it around town and like maybe go like the beach pen or something but like it would need a lot of work and then once it's all rebuilt you go and you drive around town and like you know i would love to be able to at least go like a hundred miles in it and see not just going like <laughs> hey let's go like i mean in, in theory it'd be really fun 1300 miles and let's just road kill it right but like i really want to make it there too so this is only 25 years old half its age and it's like I mean, I don't have to go and do the brakes. I don't have to do an exhaust system. I don't have to do 
a lot of things. I only have to do very little things for this to be roadworthy. So that's sort of my thoughts on the truck situation because once I have a truck, then I can get my race car running, then get the race car done, and then be able to get a trailer. So I could probably borrow a trailer. That's something I could probably convince somebody that I know of, of using. Then also, I didn't think about this. I have some buddies in town that might be interested in going to PFI Speed Fest also. So that's pretty cool. But uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm really excited for this year, guys, especially because there's nothing better than like having goals, right? And like, it's so hard right now. It feels like <laughs> in America to have goals because everybody is like, you know, there's so much going on in the world and everything. I really try not to put too much thought into that because I really just think simply, I'm just gonna give it up to God, you know? But uh, yeah, if I can, if I could get to Colorado, hang out with P like Fred for PFI Speed, Jamie, uh, Goofy Golden, uh, Mario, and all the gang, like, that would be, like, a dream come true. It'd be so much fun. And I hope I could take my son, Carson, and my dad. That'd be the ultimate boys trip. So, as I'm washing this van, uh, I just have the thought of where I'm going to end this video all off at. And I think I'll probably end it off once it's fully washed, because... Uh, I'm gonna take the opportunity to continue talking to you guys and just kind of get, you know, an update on what I'm doing, you know? Like how I am doing, I guess. So like, dude, uh, I probably said this on the channel before, my life is based on these three things in, in this order. It's God, then it's family, and then it's cars, right? So I put a lot of passion into doing all this that's all I do is I try to do car related stuff. I just love doing it, right? And so everybody's got their channels they watch and you guys know how much I love Brent from PFI Speed with Jamie and Goofy Built Shane is one of my new favorite YouTubes. He's killing it on YouTube, man. He, him and Mario are so such a good team. Of, uh, and I wish I had another friend. I have a lot of good car buddies, but no one that would ever want to you know, work on this channel, right? <laughs> but I have had the chance, I don't really even know how to start this off, but uh, I've had the chance to be able to go out to Colorado and hang out with Brent from PFI Speed and Goofy Built. Uh, it was this one time where me and my family were going out there to see some family uh, on my wife's side of family because I don't have any uh, family in Colorado but we went out there and I have a friend named Tom Young he's out here and unfortunately he was the one that was on Brent's channel that had jet boat but he also had like a heart attack or a stroke which is like not the strat like I, he's always in my prayers and I miss the guy personally but he I met him because he used to have a shop right down the street. And like, long story short, I was able to meet Brent from PFI Speed when they, there was one time where they squatted from Colorado to Florida to do some drag racing with Boosted Boy. So he was passing by, so I got to meet him. And then, you know, one thing leads to another. You get their Facebook and then uh, I asked Tom, you know, I was like, hey, you know, if I'm going out to Colorado, it would be cool if I see Brent for PFI Speed. And they're like, yeah. And so he just calls him up. And so I asked him in person. He calls him up and he's like, yeah, sure. Just tell me what day. So I was hanging out with them and everything. So it'll be really cool to go out there and like, and then like, I'm really not trying to be selfish about this, but like, it'd be really cool if you had the opportunity to go to like that race. If you got a Honda and you're like, I'm, 1300 miles away you take your car and you put it like I'm trying to do like the trip going all the way out there is gonna be one thing but then like just going and showing up to the show would be really cool but since I sort of have a little bit of the hiccup hook up with like being able to message Brent or message Goofy Bolt like we're all gonna hang 
like and that's gonna be really really cool dude especially because like they are just such good family and like good car folk man and like all their stuff is like all their projects and everything Ugh, i can go on and on and on but i'm just so pumped man to to feel like one more step closer to that goal um being able to go out to Colorado and race, because that'd be just the dream. And hopefully I don't sound like a broken record, but I'm just so pumped. And I can't wait to see if God will bless me with just, just the right amount of things, dude, and all the stars lining up. And like, ah, oh, I can't wait to see what he does, dude. Because like just getting this thing was like, a whole lot of things had to line up, but like, Dude, $500 for something that drove here with a clean title is still just like that was only God. Like the dudes gave it away for me. And on top of that, like I don't know if I caught this on camera or not, but I bought it from the guy named Tyler, right? Super duper cool cat. I hung out with him for four or five different hours, uh, for four or five hours the last two days. And as I was talking to him, he uh, really needed that 500 bucks, man. He's like, I really appreciate it. And like, he didn't give a reason, but he was like super appreciative of like 500 bucks. I think it's because maybe he did say he didn't like, he lost his job because of his father passing away. Uh, that's what, you know, he was his job. So he lost his job because he lost his father. And like, I was glad that just that 500 bucks made him like happy. And then I get this thing for 500 bucks and it's making, I mean, come on, I'm happy and just, oh, this thing whew, is gonna be so great. So you know what? I'm gonna just end it off right here because like who really wants to see me wash this thing? Nobody really wants to do that, dude. So thank you guys. I'm really trying to be able to just do better about filming, man. Because like if you guys have ever tried doing this, I still get a little bit nervous and I try to do like my best to say the right thing and not have to take a bunch of takes and everything like that. But I'm trying to just be smooth and cool and just be able to tell you guys how it is. So you get like the 100% Dylan Jared Pratt slash Speed Trends Racing, dude. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Man, thank you again for just uh, the likes, the comments, the, the, the subscriptions, like all of that, you know? And like, I really do mean it from the bottom of my heart. And uh, dude, I'm almost 400 subscribers, yeah, right? See you guys later.